everyone, it's Samantha from Scrap Masters Paradise and I'm just now getting to my week one layout. I got my pictures finally picked up from Walgreens today. So I'm finally getting down to getting my week one done. And I would have picked up my pictures earlier, but we are part of that big snowstorm, so I couldn't leave the house. And even today it was kind of a challenge. But anyway, I digress. So today I'm going to do my week one and I already went ahead and printed up all of my journaling cards and I've got a free Photoshop template if you want to see how I print my cards. So first I have my cover page done. I used the blush edition for that and I have these little photos. I made a frame with pick frame and made two by two photos out of an Instagram four by four print. If you'd like me to do a tutorial showing how to make 2x2 prints, let me know in the comments section below and I'd be happy to do that. And now I'm showing you my first page. I went ahead and made a page just about our resolutions and our goals for this year. And so that's going to be part of my week one layout. Next I have this one that's actually going to go in my 2013 album. This was just a funny story about something that my husband, actually two different things my husband did and then about New Year's Eve. So I will finish this layout coming up soon. I just have it in here because it hasn't been finished yet. Then I have my page protector for my week one and I ended up changing my pictures around because I had a lot of really good snow pictures from this big winter storm. So I changed my layout around like four different times and ended up sketching it out on different paper quite a few different times and I finally came out with a layout that I liked so I just put all of that in here to use. Once I finally got it figured out and how my layout was going to go I decided to use a design H insert so this will be front and back and then one of the regular A pages. So this is my week one here. I've got two design A's since I went ahead and did those resolutions on this page and then I was left with this little insert. So really my week one could have been just a regular two page spread, but I did that um, New Year's goals and stuff. So I decided to make this little insert. I wanted them all kind of facing each other. Okay, now for the sake of time, I'm just gonna speed this up. And this shows me getting out the cards and picking out what I'm gonna be using. Um, this is way back to the very beginning of my Project Live. I didn't even write on these cards yet, so I'm kind of backing up where the video was. Once I got my journaling cards picked out, I went ahead and got them all printed and arranged how I wanted them in a chronological order. Now I'm going to go through my pictures and arrange them how I want them. And I ended up buying more pictures than I need because I'm going to make two 12x12s also this week ended up getting four by sixes done with the pick frame so I could make three by four photos on some of them. And I also got a couple of four by four Instagram prints. So that's why I had different envelopes. I got some of my pictures and I edited them. I edited them on the computer. So they came in a different pack than my four by sixes I took straight from my phone. So first, these are ones that I took straight from my phone. Now I'm just going to get these arranged next to their journaling sections and it takes me a while to figure out all of them because some of them go on different pages because of that insert and it's been a while since I planned everything out. Since I got some collage prints and I got some vertical 4x6s, I'm going to have to cut some of them down. So I'm just setting those aside right now and putting in all the ones that don't need to be cut down. Well, you can see there's a quite a few that need to be cut down. Now I cut this one down. It's one of those that I end up making two three by fours. I'm going to have to cut that one even further. I'm just arranging the rest of them where they go. And you can see that one still needs to be cut down. And that one's another vertical one. So I'm going to cut it down as well. And actually with this one, it gets rid of all the clutter that was in the photo. So that one's actually really a good one to cut down. So I saved these three spaces for some of these pictures that I had edited on my computer. These are just snow pictures I got and I took them with my digital SLR camera instead of my phone. And I tried to get really nice ones so I grabbed the three more informal type ones and stuck them in my project life. And the rest of these ones are really just beautiful photos of the dogs that I got and I'm going to do 12 by 12 layouts with those. 
Next, I'm just going to get my photos cut down, and this 3x4 has to be cut down quite a lot because it's got to go in there with my journaling, and it ends up covering up the little date part that I had written out. And so I just was okay with that, covering up the date, uh, since I wanted the whole photo to be seen. I couldn't cut off part of my head or part of Emma's head. And then I have these two other Instagram prints, and I'm going to use these as fill-ins Anytime there's a cute story about Emma, because those pictures were just really cute of her, and one of them actually goes for week two. So now it's time to start decorating and designing. So I took my page out of my book, and I'm just going to work on this insert section first. Getting my photo glued down, then I'm going to pull out some embellishments. Since I have to cover up the date here to get the picture on, I grabbed some mini alphas. I'm just trying to figure out which alphas would look best. On the picture. I'm just going to add these directly to the picture and spell out Jan first. These alphas are from Basic Gray and it's the Serendipity and Shine collection. I'm just using these aqua tealy colored ones because it matches the layout a lot better than the other colors I had. Next I'm grabbing my December pack of Scraptastic goodies. I thought I would use some of these embellishments up and I really liked the shine bright like a diamond with some pattern in the back. So I'm just going to layer that on top of a journaling card. I thought it looked really cool with the pink coming through so I'll use that. I've also got these wood veneers and I also have some sequins so I'm just going to add these as little decorations. I'm mostly keeping my whole layout process really simple and streamlined. So I'm just adding a few embellishments here and there and I'm using my Tombow multi-purpose adhesive for this. I use this for anything small and I use my tape runner for anything larger. So I got that ready and then I'm going to decorate this one. First I'm going to get it attached because I noticed it was sliding around in that holder just a little bit. To accent the eyes I grabbed these enamel dots. They're from the, the Sweetest Thing collection and it's the reasons why set. So it's a bunch of different pinks and teals. I just grabbed the pink ones and accented all of the eyes. And now I've got some rhinestones. Since it said diamond, I wanted something super sparkly and grabbed these rhinestones. They're just miscellaneous from various companies. And I called that one done. I still need the picture up at the top, but now I'm moving on to the other side. I'm going to decorate this with some sequins. I just grabbed some pink and white ones so that they would match the overall color scheme of my layout. Stuck that in. And so there is that whole insert done. Now I'm going to move on to the A page. I decided to switch around these two quote cards. One of them I typed up and one of them was just one of those filler cards from the Fifth and Frolic. So I'm just moving things around and arranging the quote cards a little bit. For this rainbow v-stripe card I want to put on one of these snowflakes. These are just chipboard snowflakes from Maya Road and they came in my January Scraptastic kit. I ordered one of their add-on kits as my kit for this month and so I grabbed this. I'm just going to decorate this. I've got ink from Stampin' Up! This is Pool Party ink. It's just a light aqua. After inking it up it needed something so I grabbed the Sheer Shimmer Spritz and sprayed it. This is the frost color. This makes the snowflake shiny and so I'm going to set this aside and let it dry. I added a little more of the shimmer. So for this next card I'm going to be using washi tape and I have this tape it's not really washi tape, but it's just a glittery tape I got from Target in their dollar spot a little while ago. And then I have this Freckled Fawn Seafoam Polka Dot Washi. So I'm just going to layer these two washi tapes and create a little border on this card. And it needs some sort of embellishment, so I'm going to try out a couple of things. I've got some flare, I've got different size buttons, and these are our Seafoam Mist colored buttons. I've got some heart flare, and I'm just going through various things to see what will match. And the pink totally clashed. <laughs> the green totally clashed. So I decided on the Seafoam Mist button from SP and it worked just fine. So moving on to the next one, I am just going to add one wood veneer star to that so it kind of goes with the rest of our cards. So for this card I have my quote and everything already on the card and I have three by four pictures. So I'm just cutting the border off this picture. I just didn't like the white border next to the card. And so I've got that and I'm again these are some little elements from my Scraptastic December kit and the so very just didn't work. I decided on this little gold tab and one of the wood veneers.
Now it just needs a couple little elements to coordinate with all the other cards. So I grabbed one of the wood veneer stars and sequins. And I also have some enamel dots to put on here too from that same pack. And like this time I grabbed the darker color. It's just a dark green tealy color. And that way it kind of fits in with the rest of the cards. So now my snowflake is dry and I'm gonna get that attached to my one card. Using that same pack of enamel dots, I'm just going to add one to the center of that snowflake and call it done. So I decided to add some words to some of these pictures with all the white space left by the snow. And I decided on these alphabets. They're from the Dear Lizzie collection and they're thickers. They're just foam letters. And they're in this really pretty mint color. And I thought the mint matched this whole Fifth and Frolic line. So I am writing out some letters and using up some of that white space. You can see the picture of Emma is so funny. She's jumping mid-air, and she does this every time we go outside. It's really cute. I just wrote Born to Fly on there. I thought it looked cute with that crazy picture of her. Now I'm just going to write out week one, and I'm going to grab some of that same glitter tape that I used before and have my week one written on that. So I'm just attaching the letters right to that tape. I haven't um, unrolled the tape yet. This one just has a backing on it so that it's not sticky. And now I unwrapped the backing and attached it so that week one just kind of is anchored to that photo and looks really nice. And it also ties in the other glitter washi that I used so that it looks really nice. And then I am done. I'm still missing one photo, but you can see how it flips. It just looks good. I used the same kind of little embellishments around the whole thing, but it's really simple. And I really like the way it turned out. I just need that one picture and then it'll be finished. So there's week one. I hope you really enjoyed it and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to try to do this every week. Thanks for watching. Bye.